Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the gradient map and the gradient and see what the difference is. And I took this picture in the Chicago Museum, and I enjoy the picture because it's a lot of people enjoying eating sardines, and they call it the Sardines Jockey Club. I just thought that was kind of funny. But anyways, <clears throat> let's go over here to the Layers panel, and we're going to click on it, and we're going to apply this right here, Gradient Map, which is second from the bottom. And here you can reverse the tones if you want, and then you can add dithering. And we're going to choose this one right here. And you can see what it has done. See, the gradient map replaces the tones of an image with the colors of the gradient. So you understand it's replacing the tones of an image with the colors of the gradient that you choose. All right, now how does this differ from a gradient? Well, if I choose another adjustment layer and I choose a second from the top, it's called a gradient. And I can choose that same gradient that we did in the last one, click OK click OK again. As you can see here, you can reverse, you can dither, you can angle it, you can choose instead of linear, radial, angle, reflected. Um, you can manually change it by moving this or typing a number or um, scrolling there. So as you can see here, we're applying a gradient to the image. We're not replacing the actual tones of the image. So this will become in handy when you want to, um, that's when you start using your blend modes and then you can apply different blend modes as you can see here. So let's get rid of not get rid of the gradient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to layer 1. I'm going to go to filter find edges which is going to find the edges. Then we'll turn on that gradient map. Now you can see how it replaced the tones of the image and you can see the um, actual outlines of the image which is kind of cool. Let me double click on this. Now let's do it with the gradient see what happens. You see? It's a lot different. All right. And then you can have fun and bring this up to the top and maybe choose, let's just choose divide and create a neat little um, effect. But that's the difference. It's not really um, difficult to understand. Just remember that the gradient map replaces the tones of an image and the gradient applies a gradient to the image. They're both adjustment layers. They're totally customable. customizable. You can double click on the little thing here and you can choose your gradient. You can choose other gradients if you want, large list, small list, um, of that sort.